Hey there, we're going to take you through a series of videos that will give you a general overview of Freshdesk. In this video, you'll be learning the fundamentals of how to work with tickets, adding agents and basic automations. So let's get started. Once you've configured your mailbox, all your emails get converted into tickets and you can view them here under the Tickets tab. The Tickets tab contains tickets from all channels like email, Twitter, Facebook and phone. You can sort and organize your tickets better by using ticket filters and ticket views. For example, you can filter tickets based on a particular agent or view just the high priority tickets. To work on a particular ticket, click on it. This will take you to the detailed ticket view. Over here, you can view the entire conversation between the customer and the agent. The yellow box to the right shows the status of the ticket and the time by which it's due. This is determined by the Service Level Agreement or the SLA which is set by the administrator. You can reply, forward or add a note to the tickets here. With this, you can start running a basic help desk on your own. As more tickets start coming into your help desk, the rest of your team can hop on to help you manage them. You can add them as agents by clicking on the Agent icon in the Admin tab. You can either add them as full-time agents or occasional agents. Full-time agents are those who are a part of your core support team, while occasional agents only log in every now and then. Now that you have your team ready, you can start automating repetitive tasks by using simple automations in Freshdesk. To get started, you can use the Dispatcher to categorize, prioritize and assign tickets to the right agent in your support team when they come to your help desk. For example, this Dispatcher rule here checks the ticket subject and description for phrases like not delivered or haven't received. When this condition matches, it sets the ticket type to problem, assigns it to sales and changes its priority to urgent. Similarly, you could use the supervisor to check on tickets every hour and the observer to trigger actions based on changes in a ticket. Next, to help your team become more productive, you can set up scenario automations. These automations can be used to execute a set of operations on a ticket with just a single click. Click on the Scenarios button and choose the appropriate option. Additionally, to save time, you can also send out canned responses to repetitive questions. To insert one into your reply, click on the icon with a star in a dialog box and choose the suitable response. This brings us to the end of Freshdesk Overview Part 1. Welcome to Part 2 of the video series that gives you a general overview of Freshdesk. In this video, you will be learning about multi-channel support, knowledge base and community forums. In the previous video, we covered the basics of setting up a help desk. Now we will take a look at how you can manage conversations from various channels such as social, chat and phone all from within your help desk without missing out on a single query. Freshdesk lets you monitor Twitter for all tweets or direct messages that talk about your brand and lets you talk to your customers proactively. You can monitor specific keywords like bad or problem and convert them to tickets on a selective basis. Additionally, you can also create multiple streams to keep tabs on your competition or your industry in general. Once you're all set up, you can go to the Social tab, reply to your brand mentions right there without leaving your help desk. Similarly, your Facebook page can be added to Freshdesk and used to convert wall posts, comments and messages into tickets. Here's the best part. You can even add a support tab to your Facebook page from where your customers can raise tickets and access your support portal. In addition to letting customers get in touch with you through email, you can also use Chat, our integrated live chat solution, to talk to customers and help them out in real time. Even better, agents can proactively initiate a chat session with any visitor to get the conversation going. For example, if a visitor is spending a lot of time on a particular page, somebody from your team can step in and help them make a choice. All your chat sessions are saved automatically and you can choose to convert them into tickets. Your team can also use chat to talk to each other without using any other application. Finally, you can use phone. 
our cloud-based telephony system to set up a support hotline for your business. All you need to do is buy a number, configure the settings, and you're good to go. You can direct every incoming call to the right team by setting up multiple levels of IVRs or interactive voice responses or forward them to voicemail when they come in outside of your business hours. Meanwhile, your agents can pick up calls on their desktops or their mobile phones when they're on the go. After a phone call with a customer, they can choose to replay the recording to get more information or convert it into a ticket to work on later. In addition to reaching out to you through multiple channels, your customers can get answers to their queries by going through your solution articles in your knowledge base. Once you have an extensive collection of articles ready, you can promote self-service to save time for your customers and bring your ticket volume down at the same time. All your knowledge base articles get indexed automatically and will be recommended to customers when they try to create a ticket in your support portal. Finally, you can set up community forums to give a platform for your customers to share ideas and give you feedback. It is an integrated part of your support portal and lets you have all relevant conversations taking place on your own turf. Forums are also a great way to engage with your customers and to enable them to help each other with valuable hints and tips. The forums can also be used to keep your customers updated about the latest developments in your product. This brings us to the end of Freshdesk Overview Part 2. In case you need more help, feel free to contact us or check out our knowledge base at support.freshdesk.com.